Right. So I flew out to Santa Anita to work on Runner. His last two works there. How how is he feeling underneath you compared to um, how he felt underneath you at Sar uh, Saratoga? Well, he felt great. You know, honestly, uh, both time. You know, at Santa Anita. Mm -hmm. and, uh, no, that is just. Uh, like uh, just keep improving, you know, which is a uh, good time. Okay, you're breaking from post five with three horses to your inside. You may drop back. What's your plans leaving the gate? And is it possible that you might hook up with Arrogate early in the race? So you haven't thought about it? Well, no, it? yeah, you kind of think about it, but uh, he's uh, so, one of the quickest, you know, him and uh, collected. We think, you know, uh, our gate is doesn't have as much early speed, you know, than uh, those two. Uh, I think we should be in front of him, but if he decides to send like crazy, you know, who knows? But I think our horses are a little bit quicker than him for the first part of the race. You think, yeah, you think Eric, you think, you think Gunrunner is quicker or earlier than, yes. than Arrogate in the race? Yes. Okay, what, what about Collector coming in from the outside? He also has a lot of speed. Uh, yeah, he has some speed, you know, my horse doesn't have to be in the lead like uh, you guys are so, you know, at, uh, yeah. So I took it, you know, yep. can't uh, rage in you know, second or third, yep. but uh, no, if they so want to lead, they are <laughs> you'll, just, you'll just play it by ear then. This is <laughs> Sal Kuman here. This is my so, man right before, here. Before this race, Sal man. says to me, this horse, I said, this horse coming in from Europe, what do you think? He's like, ah, I don't know so much. I don't but know. the horse, we, we know I mean, <laughs> there's loaded at the, the top oh of the stretch. The horse, the horse could have won by 25 yeah, lengths. Right, huh? We're on fire with you. I know. I love it. All right, thank you, Sal. Hey, I like it. Good. Pretty crazy time over here. All right, one more question. I got one more question for you. Thanks, Sal. I appreciate it, man. I interviewed you two summers ago at Saratoga, and you said when you got to the top of the stretch, in the Kentucky Derby on the gun, you know, with gun runner underneath you, you thought you were going to win the thing. That's what was the exact quote. How would it feel to win the Breeders' Cup Classic? What would that mean for your career? Well, it would be great. You no, know, uh, it's uh, very high on my uh, bucket list, you know, for sure. It's uh, definitely one of the most uh, prestigious race uh, we have in the world, you know. And it's going to be uh, viewed by uh, millions of people, you know. Yep. Uh, everywhere from uh, every continent, you know, that going to at this race, you know, especially the very big matchup, you know, between uh, Arrogate and Gunrunner, you know. Yeah. And uh, no, it's great. It's what uh, racing need, you know, those uh, big matchups. You know, you don't want to see your horse who's just gonna win it easy, you know, by ten legs. You want to see some competition. That's what uh, right. horse racing is all about. All right. Good luck. Good luck.